guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 favorite highlighters. I've done my top 10 favorite eyeshadow palettes, my top lashes. If there's another category that you guys want me to tackle in my top 10, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. But for today's video, we are just going to be talking all about my favorite highlighters. I'm going to share with you my favorite formulas, my favorite shades, and why I like the highlighters the way I do and how I use them. So if you guys are interested in hearing my favorites, then just continue watching. Okay, so I'm going to start from my number 10 spot and work my way down to my number one spot so that way you guys can stick around for the whole video if you want to hear my number one spot but obviously you can skip if you want to if you don't want to hear the whole thing but anyway my number 10 spot will have to go to the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Press Highlighter in the shade Opal. I feel like this is such an OG to highlighters so this just had to be my top 10. I don't use it often anymore. I haven't picked it up in a really long time. And the reason why is because I feel like Opal is a little bit too dark on me. I was noticing that you could see the gray shadow when I look straight so I realized you know it's a little bit too dark for me but the formula is amazing. I think maybe Champagne Pop Jaclyn's highlighter will probably suit me a bit better than Opal but nonetheless this is just a great great highlighter. It's so reflective, so high shine, definitely that Instagram highlighter. I know it's really pricey but for the formula it is really really amazing so I just had to add this in in my top 10 it had to be you know it's one of the OGs so this will be my number 10 spot. For my number 9 I have this Laura Mercier Face Illuminator palette. This palette itself I believe is discontinued but you still can get the shadows that are in here individually I believe they still sell it and I've never heard anybody talk about these face illuminators from Laura Mercier and from the name of it it does say illuminator not highlighter so you can kind of see that this won't be more of like an Instagram highlight like the Becca one this will be a little bit more subtle but definitely the shine is still there you still can see it on your skin it looks amazing it's more metallic as well and you will notice that with my top 10 a lot of these are more metallic highlights none of these have like heaps of glitter in them because that's just not my preference in a highlighter so this one is just a really great one it's very subtle. I like how this palette you get like a range of them but obviously this palette you can't get anymore. At one point in time this was like the only highlighter that I would be using. You can see how dirty this palette is and how dented these highlighters are. Sometimes you just don't want a beaming highlight. Well personally for me like sometimes I don't want like an in your face highlight. You know there's a time and place for that. So just depending on my makeup look, where I'm going, my mood, this does come in handy. I love this formula. My number 8 spot will have to go to the e.l.f. Moonlight Pearls Baked Highlighter. I know this is a really popular one in the drugstore and I can see why. It gives you such a beautiful like shine. Obviously all of these will give you shine on your face because that's the whole purpose of highlighters but they are all you know a little bit different. All the formulas are slightly different and this one is more of like a silvery pearl based highlighter and typically that's not really my preference in highlights. I like more champagne gold. So this one is a little bit different for me. I used to use this every single day like all the time but I realized again that this is too light for me. You will see my highlights from 10 to 5. These are highlighters that I used to use all the time. I love the formula but I come to realize that they are either too light or too dark for me so I stopped using them and then you will see that more of like my top four. I use them like in rotation every single day. These are the highlighters that suit me. But nonetheless, like everything in my top 10, I love the formula of. Although I can't wear the shade, I like the formula. And at one point in time, I used to use them literally every single day. Like, I'm sure you could find all of these highlighters in one of my favorites. Like, I've mentioned them before. It's just, it's been a while since I've used a couple of them. This is being one of them. I know that you have to scrape the top layer off and to me that's not really a big deal because you get so much product with baked products that scraping off a layer is not really going to cost you anything. It's a little bit more powdery on the face but it still gives you that metallic shine nonetheless. It looks amazing. So I love this. So beautiful and I can see why it's one of the better highlights in the drugstore. This is my number 7 spot. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. I remember taking this with me to Japan the first time I went and you know if you're taking a highlighter with you when you go traveling 
obviously you adore that highlighter right and for some reason in japan i realized that this was way too dark on my skin you could see that gray shadow again and that's when you know when something is too dark or light for you is when you can see the gray shadow and i saw that and i was like Ugh. That's a shame because I love this highlighter so much. This again is a highlighter that's very like Instagram highlighter. It's very blinding in your face. What are the other terms that YouTubers use when they love a highlighter? If you're looking for like a super blinding highlight on a budget, the Wet n Wild ones are really nice. You just gotta find the shade that matches you, obviously. It was my favorite highlighter for a long, long time until I realized it was too dark for me, but... I know a lot of people like this highlight as well. And now for my number six spot, these are the Smashbox Spotlight Palettes in Pearl and Gold in collaboration with Casey Holmes. I do believe that these are discontinued, so I'm just gonna like quickly breeze through them because I don't like mentioning discontinued products because obviously you guys can't purchase them. I don't know why nobody talked about these when they released because they honestly were so good. I feel like these were so underhyped. It's literally such an amazing formula. So if Smashbox has like this kind of formula still, I'll definitely link it down below. I'll do some research for you guys. Pretty much in this highlighting palette, you get three highlights. There is a range of them. The first two is going to be a little bit more metallic and the last one is a little bit more glittery. Now it's not glittery like the Nicole Guerrero ABH palette like that one. This one is very subtle, the glitters are very very fine so it's not going to enhance your texture. But what I like to do, I like to mix the whole three and just put it on my face and it looks amazing. Again, it's a little bit more like powdery but it still looks so good, it doesn't enhance your textures. If you guys are familiar with Casey, you know she has rosacea so she created a formula that wouldn't enhance any texture and I completely agree. I'm definitely gonna do some research, leave some links down below if there is anything similar from Smashbox. Alright, now we move into my top five. My number five spot will have to be the Colourpop Super Shock High highlighters. I love these guys. At first I didn't like them because I used them completely wrong. I used it with a brush and when you use it with a brush, like I know some people like it with a brush, but for me personally when I use a brush with it, it's very streaky, it's very choppy, very patchy. I like to use my finger or I'll either use a beauty sponge and just dab it on to where I want it. It like just blends into your skin because it's more of like a cream formula and the shine. This is like another Instagram highlighter. Like it's just in your face, beaming, love it. It looks amazing. My two favorites are Lunch Money and Thimble. I know Fixitarian is like everybody's favorite, but for me that one is a little bit more silver and I like more like golden champagne colors. So these are the ones that I like. These will look really great on the body as well because it just blends into your skin. Like it almost mounts into your skin. It looks very natural, like a natural glow. Sometimes when you put like powder highlights on, it can look not as natural, if you know what I mean. Moving along to my number four spot. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I don't know if they still sell this palette specifically, but I know you can get all three of these individually in their own single pans. This is the highlighter that I will use when I have more of like a natural look. Like this look today, I would wear this highlighter because my eyes are a lot more softer. Or when I'm going to work, I just want a little bit of a glow, but it's like not too in your face. It's work appropriate. This is the palette that I'll go to, and I know Hourglass is not affordable, but honestly, Hourglass is such a beautiful brand. Like, everything they have is so luxe, and it's just amazing, and I think they are going vegan completely, or something like that. So yeah, this is just like a highlighter that I will use when I am creating more of a natural look when I want to highlight that's more subtle, but you still can see it. It literally looks like you're glowing from within. I honestly just mix all of them together and I just put it on my face and it looks great. And now we move into my top three. I'm sure you guys can guess my top three, I'm sure. But my number three spot will have to go to the Ofra Everglow Highlighter. This is in collaboration with Nikki Tutorials. This was the original one. It's in the old packaging and she did come out with each individual triangle in their own single pan so you can get that if you want but I typically use just that golden shade a little bit with the white it depends on the look but guys okay if I am creating a look like I want just the most beaming the most crazy intense reflective like it's like a mirror on my cheeks if I'm looking for that kind of highlight, I will always go to this one. I don't keep this one in my top drawer because I don't use this a lot, you know? I only use it for a specific look, but the formula on this is just 
It's crazy how good this formula is. It's like the Instagram highlighter. Like I would just have to say that, okay? It's like the Instagram highlighter because it's just so blinding, so reflective. It's crazy. When I just need a highlighter that's gonna be reflective, this is the first highlighter that I'll go to. I know all of these highlighters here are super reflective, but this one is just like an extra like punch in the face. My number two spot is of course the ColourPop In Nudendo highlighting palette. I don't use everything in here, but I do think getting this palette is worth it just for whatever you're gonna use. I'm sure you can see the two that I like the most. The one that I use all the time is On The Loose, which is the gold, and then Fine Line, which is a little bit more silver. So again, depending on the eye look, if I want more of a golden highlight, I'll go in with this one. Everything else in here, I personally just don't like on my skin tone, either too dark, too light, but if you are a working makeup artist, it's a great palette to have on hand. It looks so amazing on the skin, like just so incredibly good. Very very wet, very metallic, super super nice. Even though I only use two of the shades in here, I think this palette is already so so worth it. I hope Colourpop will come out with On The Loose in a single pan, so I don't need to keep repurchasing this palette whenever I run out of that shade, but you can see I used a lot of this. And if you are familiar with my videos, you know I use this palette a lot. So this would have to be my number two spot for sure. I've talked about it many, many times in the past before. And for my number one spot, I'm sure you guys have guessed it. It is the Dose of Colors Fuego Highlighter in collaboration with Dizzy and Katie. This is just the most perfect highlighter for me. I love the formula and I also love the shade on my skin. It just looks so great. I'm not wearing any of these highlighters on my face today because I filmed a video before this and I had to use a highlighter that was in that collection. This little guy is just so amazing. I did stop using it for a really long time because it was discontinued but now it is back in stock. They relaunched it and you guys can get it. It's 28 US dollars which is you know a little bit pricey for just one highlighter but it's so so worth it. If you are like my kind of skin tone, this is like our perfect highlighter. You know what I mean? It's just the formula look, looks so great. If all of my highlighters disappeared, I would be okay with just having this one. Alright guys, so that was my top 10 favorite highlighters. If there is a highlighter that you guys feel that should have been my top 10 and is cruelty free that I haven't used, be sure to let me know down below. I am open to trying out more highlighters. Um, so just let me know your suggestions if there was something that I didn't try and you think I should. Again, I am cruelty free so I cannot use highlights like from Maybelline or just MAC and etc. So just be aware of that. But if you guys did enjoy this video and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you guys would like these kind of videos. I'm thinking about doing maybe a blush next. I don't have a top 10, but I definitely have a top 5. So maybe blush. Let me know what you guys want to see next. But yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!